Okay guys, time for another installment of Life After Housewives. Who do we have today? That would be Kelly Ben Simone. And I would say, out of all the ex-housewives, Kelly Ben Simone was a person that really didn't need to come on the show. She already had her fame and fortune and was well established in her career, but she certainly was one of the ones most traumatized by her experience. So let's get into the story. Kelly was born Kelly Jean Killeran on May 1st, 1968 in Rockford, Illinois. She was attracted to modeling at a very early age, and when she was a teen, she started modeling. She did not pursue it full-time, but went to college. At first, she went to Trinity College, then Connecticut, then Columbia University, where she took general studies and got her degree in literature and writing. While in college, she continued to model. She has appeared in magazines such as Elle, Cosmopolitan, and Harper's Bazaar. In 1997, she married famed photographer Jill Ben Simone. In 1998, the couple had their first child, C. Louise Ben Simone. After her daughter's birth, she had a two year struggle with postpartum depression. It left her so anxiety ridden that she was terrified to be alone with her daughter. She was quoted as saying, I literally gave birth to a child, and my ex husband just left and went traveling, and I was with this child by myself. I was young and none of my friends had kids. I was petrified. I loved her so much, but I literally was petrified. I couldn't drive. It was really bad. She suffered on and off for two years until she became pregnant with her second child, Thaddeus Ann, who was born in 2000. In July 2007, after 10 years of marriage, the couple divorced. She said Jill didn't allow her to travel. That relationship was very kids, dogs, and horses. In 09, Kelly joined the cast on the second season of The Real Housewives of New York. She thought going on the show would be great exposure for her jury line, so she was excited to join the cast. However, at the end of her first season, her enthusiasm began to dwindle. The show's drama was overwhelming for Kelly. She admitted to Allure magazine, saying, I haven't experienced this before, not even in college. That same year, Kelly got engaged to her boyfriend, Nicholas Stefanov, but the engagement came to an abrupt end. When on March 5th at 9, 10 a.m., her fiancé alleged she punched him in the face and gave him a laceration under his left eye. She was arrested for assault. Kelly entered into a plea agreement with the state of New York on June 8th to clear her record and was required to stay out of trouble for a year and perform two days of community service in order to wipe her record after her arrest. In 2010, Kelly appeared on the cover in a six-page pictorial on March 2010 edition of Playboy magazine, which was photographed by her ex-husband, Jills. Later that year, Kelly experienced one of the most concerning situations in housewife history. The season three cast took a trip to St. John, where things quickly went downhill for Kelly. She began to act erratic, argumentative, and began making irrational claims. She accused Bethany Frankel, who was pregnant at the time, of trying to kill her. She even called another cast member a vampire. Kelly was having a nervous breakdown on national television. This caused the network to take measures into their own hands. They asked Kelly to leave St. John, and a producer escorted her home. Shortly after, and traumatized by the situation, Kelly said the network, Bravo, exploited mental health, and she apologized to her fan base for the situation. Ben Simone said that she was not crazy, but all she could do now was be the best version of herself that she could be. This incident was a major embarrassment for Kelly, and it negatively affected her reputation to this day. Kelly completed another season of the show before being fired. After the show, Kelly realized that her reputation took a major hit. People really considered her, well, crazy, so she had to address the issue again. She stated, People called me crazy, but what they saw was me reacting in an honest way to a situation that wasn't honest. Then everyone ganged up on me, so of course I looked crazy. This wouldn't be the last time that Kelly had to address her nervous breakdown, now renamed Scary Island. Although Kelly's reputation was bruised, she didn't let it stop her from having thriving business ventures while being a single mother with sometimes sporadic romantic relationships. Her first business venture after Housewives would be a book she wrote in 2012 called I Can Make You Hot, The Supermodel Diet. Then in 2016, she wrote another book called A Dangerous Age, 
During this time, Kelly went back to her maiden name, Kilrin. In 2017, she wrote another book called The Second Course. She launched four jewelry collections, one which she sold at HSN and the other at Bloomingdale's. She even had a handbag line where she donated some of her proceeds to Hampton Classic Jump for Charity. In 2018, she became a licensed real estate agent. And she currently is the editor-at-large for Hamptons Magazine and is a columnist for AM New York. Life was good for Kelly, and it even looked like she had put Scary Island behind her when she complimented Bethany on her philanthropy. But Scary Island and her trauma at The Real Housewives of New York resurfaced when she gave a scathing interview where Bethany was her number one target. She claimed Bethany was pregnant during the time they were filming, and she was having serious issues with her unborn child and flying back and forth pretending to film with her dying father in L.A., but really, she was just filming in the the car she never saw him then she accused bethany of wanting to be the kim kardashian of the show she even went after andy cohen she said that he didn't like her as she wasn't sure why maybe he was jealous because she posed in playboy so as you can see no one can accuse kelly kilwin ben simone of not being a good businesswoman but you can accuse her of never getting over the real housewives of new york so let me know in my comments section, what did you think of Kelly Kilburn's life after Housewife? Also, don't forget to mention any other ex-housewife that you're curious about. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button and that subscription button. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.